Hello, my name is Shreema. This is my partner, Fran. We're Hi. both EMTs. Can I get your name, please? My name is Mary. Mary, what's the problem today? I'm having some chest pains. Okay. I'm going to ask you a few more questions about your chest pain. And my partner's going to take your blood pressure. Is that okay? Okay. All right. When did your chest pain start? About 20 minutes ago. Okay. Have you ever had chest pain before? Uh, yes, I have a history of, of heart problems, uh, but this time it just felt so much worse when I was walking up a flight of stairs, and it just feels so heavy here. Okay. And can you describe the pain a little bit more for me? Um, it just It's just a really heavy feeling in my chest. Okay. And do you take anything for your chest pain? I do have nitroglycerin. Okay. I'm going to give you your nitroglycerin as well as some aspirin. Before I do that, do you have any allergies to any medications? No allergies. Okay. Five rights of medication administration. Patient, dose, route, time, drug. Her blood pressure is 126 over 84. 126 over 84. Thank you. Okay. And can I have your last name to confirm that this is your nitroglycerin? Lanigan. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to give you one tablet of the nitroglycerin to put right underneath your tongue. Okay. And if you start to develop any lightheadedness, please let me know, and we'll both lay you flat on the ground, okay? So you can place that right under your tongue for me to let it dissolve. And how are you feeling right now? I'm starting to feel a little bit lightheaded. Okay, let's lay her flat on the ground. Mary, how are you feeling right now? I feel better now. Okay. Can we recheck her blood pressure, please? And I'm going to check your pulse while she's doing that. Mary, how does your chest pain right now? It feels better now. It doesn't feel as heavy as it did before. Okay. Are you feeling short of breath at all? No. Okay. I'm going to take a listen to your lungs. Can you take a deep breath in for me? And out. And another one. Closed loop communication. Repeating back critical information and receiving a confirmation that it was accurately received helps to avoid misunderstanding and assures that the information was received correctly. ALS providers do this routinely for medication orders received over the radio. All providers should also do this for important information relayed on the scene. Scene management. If there is another provider just standing around, ask yourself if there is something that person could be doing to maximize your efficiency on the scene. Nitroglycerin-induced hypotension. Providers often forget to lay the patient flat. Positioning is the effective intervention for lightheadedness after nitroglycerin administration. IV fluid administration in the time it takes for the effects of nitroglycerin to wane will not be sufficient to rapidly replace the displaced blood volume caused by systemic vasodilation. Pulmonary edema might be a contraindication to lying the patient completely flat. Oxygen. Assess and reassess for adequate oxygenation and work of breathing. Use supplemental oxygen judiciously. Aspirin. Aspirin administration in ACS is important. The over-the-counter dose printed on the label of aspirin for a headache is 650 milligrams. If there is any concern that the patient did not take adequate aspirin prior to you arriving, possibility of expired medication, missed dose, wrong medication like acetaminophen, you may give your indicated dose of 324 milligrams of chewable aspirin without the concern of overdosing if the patient might have already taken a dose. Anticoagulation is usually a contraindication for aspirin administration, but an exception to this is giving aspirin to a patient on anticoagulation who is having acute coronary syndrome. Aspirin works differently than the other anticoagulants and should be administered in this case unless there is another contraindication, such as an allergy. The techniques described in this video are included to spark discussion, not as authoritative practice directives. Consider the benefits and limitations of each technique and discuss with your colleagues and medical director. 
The content is intended as an educational resource only and not intended to supersede any state, regional, or local guidelines, protocols, policies, medical direction, 